Hey everyone, let's talk about drone registration. Drones, they'll be flying off the store shelves this holiday season. Shoppers expected to buy hundreds of thousands of the remote controlled aircraft by the end of the year. And federal regulators want to make sure they don't stray off course. So officials are focused specifically on keeping drones out of the flight paths of commercial airlines. And in order to do that, owners of those drones will have to register them. Okay, so starting December 21st, 2015, the FAA is requiring hobbyists and professionals alike to register their drones. Now, those are drones from half a pound up to 55 pounds. Anything over 55 pounds, it, it goes through a different process. But we're just gonna basically talk about uh, drones between half a pound and 55 pounds. So to see if your drone is even required to be registered, I, I made a, a page on my website, so go to thinqb.com, and there's a, there'll be a link down below in the description. And basically go to Partner Channels, Drone Tube, and then over to Drone Registration. Here you'll see a list of all the drones that uh, the FAA is saying falls between the half pound and 55 pound. Now the good thing about this is that even if your drone doesn't fall on this list, it might be a good idea to go ahead and register anyway, because what you're doing is you're registering yourself, not necessarily the individual drones that you own, because you're gonna get a number. The website tells you to put that number on all of your drones. So to register, I provided a link in the description below, or I also have a link right here on this page. A disclaimer will pop up. You could just click through that or read it, it's up to you. And from here, click Create Account. Enter your email address and create a password. You'll get a verification email. All you have to do is click through that. It will bring you back to the website and you can log in with the um, email and password you already used. So once you're in, you can just enter all your information. If you do this registration by January 21st, 2016, it will be free. Actually, you'll have to pay $5 with a credit card, and then soon after, you will be refunded that $5. Once you fill out all your information, hit proceed to checkout, then you'll be asked for credit card information. Once that's processed, you will receive your unique registration number. You can print the certificate. You're gonna need that when you're flying. That's something that you're supposed to have with you every time you fly. Also, you need to write your registration number on all of your drones. And there's a bullet list here of all the different requirements uh, for safety guidance, such as fly below 400 feet, always fly within visual line of sight of your drone, uh, be aware of FAA airspace, don't fly directly over people, what have you. Once you do all that and get that registration number, you're all set for three years. If you scroll down a little bit, there's another website that the FAA suggests for uh, safety guidance, and that's this one here. You can look around on this website. Uh, there's tons of information, frequently asked questions, what have you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button if this video helped you out. Uh, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any problems, issues, need some help with, I'll be more than happy to try to help you figure it out. Take a look at the video above. It's showing you how to modify this quadcopter to accept a larger battery. It's a 1200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it will almost double the flight time. Thanks for stopping by and happy flying.